Hello, this time we will use not this display, this time we will use this four digit display. Okay, four digit display, and I will again start to, to build this. Huh? We'll again change the setup here. Yeah, you know this setup, we've used it previously. Uh, now I'm going to use this, this display, okay? We'll start to change, to change the hardware setup. Uh, this is how I'm going to change it, okay? However, not yet. So these, these lines, these ones to the outputs, I'm not going to do, yeah? I, I will all, co I will all connect them to, to ground, to blue, to minus. Okay. So this will happen. Okay. Meanwhile, the original Heinz is going to explain this device. Okay. So let's start once again. Let's start once again this one out better so this is this device yeah pretty much the same display like we used before but this time we are using a four digit seven segment display okay so we have four times eight LEDs. And if we turn it around, yeet, there's not that much, there's not that much uh, connectors, right? There are only 12 connectors. How is this then possible? I mean, there are only 12 connectors. On the other, on the other uh, thing, we had 10 connectors. So at least there are two more. But it's not just it's not just uh, one digit it's four digits okay so how is this working yeah. it is working uh, pretty simple I would say yeah so it is working this is the display this is from from the data sheet you have the data sheet uh, on your CD in your starter kit uh here you have, we have this one two three four digit display yeah our display does not provide this d5 and d6 these points it just provides the decimal points here okay and below here you see how the leds are connected and you can see if you want to light up line a that's the top line yeah on digit one you have to connect to 11 plus and to 12 minus yeah. then this LED here this one is oh, this LED here is starting to light yeah. however if you set 11 plus to 11 yeah, then also and the A on the second digit and the a on the th a third digit and the A on the fourth digit, they are all connected to each other. Yeah. So if there is eleven a plus, yeah, all of these A's will light. If all of these grounds are connected to ground, if they are not connected to ground, if they are open, yeah, then this will not light. Okay, so this is how it is possible. We do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, our eight LEDs, and then plus four is 12, four ground, and one ground for this digit, one ground for this digit, one ground for this digit, one ground for this digit. Okay, so that's, that's how this is how this looks like, how this internal connection is done. Yeah. 
And now it's clear. Yeah? Now it's clear why we can control eight a uh, four four digit with only twelve pins. Okay. That's that's it. Yeah. yeah, I hope the original Heinz is already done with the hardware setup. Okay, I think this looks good. Yeah. Plug it in. Mm -hmm. There was quite some some light let's see good ah three is not perfect four also aha uh -huh. So it seems like I mixed up the middle with the decimal point. Okay, what does this mean? Middle with decimal point mix up. Decimal point is 3 and the middle one is G5, 3 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I will enter digit numbers. I will, oops, <laughs> I will enter digit number three. three. Okay, okay, the decimal point is gone. You see, if I plug it in here. This is obviously the decimal point and this black one here should be 3 and 5, this one should be the other one. Let's mix them. Ah, okay, looks better, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, zero, one. Good. Working. But as you can see, all all digits do display the same value. This is because I only have eight inputs, and these eight inputs are connected to to every LED. If you are looking, if you are looking on the schematics, here they are. You see the the, the, the pins 3, 5, 10, 1, 2, 4, 7 and 11 are connected to every digit and these are the grounds 6, 8, 9 and 12. Okay? So every every LED is lit. Yeah, every time the same. And if I do not want that each, if I do not want that that each digit is lit, see what happens if I remove here this one, then this first digit is going off. If I remove this one, the second digit is moving off. If I remove this one, this digit is turning off and if I remove this ground this digit is turned off okay so what we need to do if we want to display different different values here a four digit number yeah, then we have to put these things on outputs yeah, we have to put these things on outputs and if they, I set the output to low, I will control this digit. The other ones are set to high. Okay? Then I will round robin 
set this to low, write what I want to write here. Set this to low, write what I want to write here. Set this to low, write what I want to write here. Set this to low, write what I want to write here. Okay, and so it will then always flashing. One time I will write this letter, then this letter, then this letter, then this letter, or digit, yeah, and so it will it will blink, but it will be too fast for our eye to visualize. Yeah, we will see what the camera is doing. So then we can write four different letters. But the trick is this multiplex it is called. Okay, so we are multiplexing. We only write one letter after the other. Dunk 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 okay. This is this is why in we originally had this these lines here. Yeah. This is going to digital outputs and if they are low I will control the corresponding letter. Okay. Basically if you have come this far that this is working, you have connected you have it connected correct. Yeah. If you're If you want to do it a little bit more sophisticated, you can try to to write a letter you like. Okay? So and this is how it should look like. This time it is really really slow. Okay? So you see we're writing one digit after the other. It's I, I made it really slow. Okay? I have a delay in my in my program. And I made it that slow so that we can observe what is happening. Okay. So I will now type in one, enter. See, first digit is one, second, these are still written zero. One, zero, 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 one, zero, zero, zero. And if I type in now a two, yeah, then this one is two, this is one, it got shifted, zero, zero. Yeah. If I type in now three, yeah, three, two, one, zero, okay. But you see, it's we, we cannot read it really, yeah. So I am. Uh, I show you the portion of the code where this is happening, yeah. This is this one, yeah. So I set the old pin to high, yeah. So then the then the uh, digit goes dark. Then I add I say okay next digit and this percent is a modulo, so it's, it's the rest of a division. So modulo four means I divide whatever is there with four. Yeah. So this value is now between zero and three. Because if it's zero, it's zero. If it's one it's one if it's two it's two if it's three it's three if it's four it's again zero because the rest of the division four divided by four is one rest zero again zero so this is between zero and four this is done quite often yeah then i updated the shift register yeah with the corresponding pattern of this digit of this digit yeah and then i set the LED that the output to low. So then book this gets gets displayed. Yeah. So once it's getting dark and the next thing is displayed, we shift it out. Then you see how fast this is really going. Yeah. I solved it that way that I used arrays. Okay, what is an array? An array an array is I now just don't use one one byte i use four bytes yeah and within these brackets i can select which value i want to have so i have four four a size of four this means i can have zero one two and three yeah? and this i'm filling up here this is why it's written here late and this bracket this is what it means 
Yeah, you can look up. You can look it up in on the Arduino homepage, Arduino CC reference. Yeah, and you do have here array data type array. Okay. Here you got the explanation how an array is working. Look into this. It can help very much. Okay. So this is also what I've I've used I've used here. Okay. The serial read I've adapted. Now whenever there is a read in something between zero and nine I just copy what is in LED number three. I copy to LED two. What is in two? I copy one. What is in one? I copy zero. And if this is done, there's a for loop. We had already for loop. If this is done, yeah, then I add at zero the new the new number. This number here, this numbers. I also made these numbers. It's also an array. You see it here. Yeah. And this is holding for digit zero the bit number of zero for digit nine the bit number of nine. And here you see this is the bit the bit present representation of nine. Okay. This is how I solve this. Yeah. This B means binary. I could write there as well a digital a decimal number, but with this B for me it's easier. That's the decimal point, that's the middle point and so on and I select which one should be lit. Okay. Yeah. And these pins, pins I have selected four, five, six, seven. These are the hardware pins I've used here. Okay. Like I said, this is very sophisticated. If you're if you're uh, had it the way that every digit has the has the correct number. It's already fine. This is already something for the good ones. Yeah. So so don't be con don't be too too I, I don't know sad if you don't fully understand what I try to tell you. However, here you see this is this delay one thousand. This is why only every second we hop to the next. If I just remove this delay, what is happening? What is happening? You see, it's very, very dark. You can only imagine that there is something written. If I say one, two, three, yeah, it's very dark, very dark. It can just not be seen. Five. Six. Yeah, you can guess, but that's not really nice. Why is that? Because it's getting turned off and on so fast, it's too short lit for my eye or for the camera. I cannot see it. Okay, so 1000 was too high, zero is too low. Yeah, so I select here simply a value. Let's say, let's try 50. 50 download. What is happening? Ah, it's flickering, but it looks already much better than before with this one. If I type in something here now, one, two, three, yeah, it cannot really be read because it's too flashy. Yeah, it looks a little bit like in in the club. Yeah, flashy, flashy. So this is still too, too uh, slow. I will use here. Five now, or let's use seven. I don't know. Download, upload. <laughs> what is happening? Ooh, yeah. For my eye, it looks flickery. With the camera, we still see it blinking. Yeah. For my eye, it looks very flickery. One, two, three, four. It's getting better. Yeah. But for my eye, it's just flashing. It's, it really hurts my eyes. For the camera, the camera is faster than my eyes. You even see them still blinking. So let's 
Why why not use two? Huh? Even smaller. What is happening? Okay, for my it looks very stable, and even for the camera we are now fast enough. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Okay. Good. Yeah. This and X, what happens with X? Uh-huh. Not totally correct. <laughs> yeah, the last digit is not is not deleted. And there's still a little a little error in the code. It is here. It is the should not stop at bigger zero, bigger or equal zero. Upload. One, two, three, seven, X, O zero. Wonderful, wonderbar, 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 wonderful. Yeah, that's it. So fast. Okay. If you could understand what we are doing here, yeah, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. You're in a very good way. Yeah. This is called multiplexing. It's very often used, very, very often used to reduce simply the power drain. So here we are not using, we are using the same amount of power like we would only use with one digit. Yeah? Just because we turn it off and on that fast after each other, we have only a fourth of the power usage. It's also a big advantage. Multiplex. Multiplex output. Yeah. So that's it for this digit, for this display. Next time, next time we are going to talk about uh, if we want to display even more data. In our Arduino, in our Arduino starter kit, we also have this thing here. Huh? LCD display. Next time. This time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.